Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and, well, it looks like I'm sitting in the sea, but I'm not. I am on another walk, and this time I'm in Bosham, in West Sussex, just west of Chichester, and I'm here to explore and meet up with good old Martin Snow, who is standing there peering at some boats. Oops, I have to tell you that uh, <laughs> the little harbour slip that we're on, the slipway, is very slippery. Uh, hello, Martin. <laughs> hello, Richard. I'm glad you might see, see you got this far without slipping over. Yes, without going arse over tit, which, you know, for a couple of tits, that's not bad, That's is not it? bad, is it? Yeah. Um, we're in Bosham. Some Bosham? people say that's Bosham. But that, you know, they get uh, shot for that. Our American friends often say Boshham, which is completely wrong. <laughs> it's a, a very lovely and ancient place, and according to the Doomsday Book, one of the wealthiest manors in England back in 1086, was yes. that written then? Let's go and take a stroll then, shall we? Yes, yes. Uh, and we'll try not to fall over as best we can. So, um, how old then is Bosham? Well, it's um, pre-Doomsday, so it's uh, about, it was only here before 800. So, yeah, so the Romans, I mean, the Romans, oh, oh, have, and the Romans have a huge influence yes, on, yes. on Bosham, don't they? That's right. They, they're responsible for the, the tide um, stream, or the mill stream. Mill stream, yes. <laughs> oh, nearly did it. <laughs> nearly, you're all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. That's, uh, I think we'll, we'll nip up these steps here, shall we? Yeah, they're, they're uh, slippery. <laughs> uh, we'll get off the slip way. Yeah, so the Romans were here, and there was no... It's all, I mean, it, the thing about Bosham is that it's, um, it's on a bit of land between two tidal creeks, so there was no fresh water here. No. Um, and so when the Romans came, they needed fresh water, and uh, so they, they used their, their uh, technology, their advanced technology, to, to build such a thing. Yes, and so bring, the, bring it from springs further inland. I was going to say, where does the water come from? Yes, there's some springs much further in. Yeah, because we're, we're sort of close-ish to the South Downs, so some of those spring waters, nice uh, and clean. Well, well up, yes. Yeah. So we've just happened to be walking through um, the, one of the many sailing clubs, no doubt, because this whole area, as you saw from the background here, is full of boats. Exactly. Um, you have to be a bit careful when you come to visit because you can drive up and park right down on the, almost on the harbour, but the, uh, the road itself is liable to flooding every time the tide comes in. Yeah, so twice, twice a day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah twice we, a day. We, we check the tide times to make sure that uh, oh, we, we won't go back to a car that is uh, floating away. Yeah, because I'm sure the, uh, the towing fees are probably very expensive. Yes. So the Romans did a lot and um, they, they built a basilica. What is a basilica? Um, well, it was a lo large, large rectangular building usually like a, uh, what was it for, for useful for, it was like a town hall administration purposes and, uh, and meetings yes that's no longer here now because the anglo-saxons i think got rid of it and put a church on it is that right um quite quite pros quite probably yes, yes. Um, uh, um and and now the the saxon church has been sort of added to and we're, we're aiming to get to that we should just stop here because the sound you can hear and the building you can see behind me is the old mill. The old mill, yes. Not the Roman mill, though. No, not the Roman mill. No, it's not quite that when, old. When would you say this one dates um, from? Well, it's be from the mid Middle Ages. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it hasn't been hasn't been used for a good long time. Um, but um, it does mean that the, the stream is still there as a feature to the to the area. Yes, and because this is an area that gets quite a lot of tourist attraction. Uh, very much so. Especially yes. in the summer. Yes. Um, but all, all the year round, not just for the sailing and the walking, but for the, for the ancient buildings. I mean, you've got yeah, a I mixture think. of buildings, like the one that we're just coming past with beautiful thatch roofs. I mean, it's so quintessentially English. Yeah. And it has all those English time oh, elements. That's right. It's, it's that's, beautiful. That's involved. Um, I read this morning that Vespasian, he was a Roman, wasn't he? He was the one yes. that, that went and invaded the Druids on Anglesey, I think, um, right. and marched his, his armies around, and I believe had something to do with the, the, the Iceni tribe, with um, Boudicca, or Bodicea, as people like to call <laughs> her. Um, anyway, he yeah. had a palace here. But 
One of its famous legends is that of King Canute, the Anglo-Saxons who were based here. Yes, yes. King Canute, as I yes. like to call him. <laughs> um, he, he was a chap, he's the one famously who repelled the sea, or tried to, at or least. Tried to, yes. Um, um, and so that, as far as I remember, the legend goes that he was trying to prove that he was not as powerful as his um, uh, yes-men seemed to think he was. Wanted to say he was. Wanted to right. say he was. Yes. So he, he set his chair somewhere, we don't know where, and of course no. many people dispute whether it was here and other places. You read that it was in, in lots of other places. But he set his chair and then of course he said, I will command the sea to stop coming in. It didn't stop coming in. And he said, there you are, that proves I'm not as powerful as you will make me out to be. Hey. That's um, it. That's so very, that's all uh, quite interesting. Were we going? No, I can't remember which way we were going to go up. So let's go this way. <laughs> go we need to. Next one. We yeah, need to hot on. foot it. So where we're walking now is the classic harbour uh, view that you get. Uh, yes. Although the photographs that you see are often from across this um, estuary. Is it? Would you call it uh, an estuary? It's, it's, well, again, it's, it's, one, it's one of the inlets because it's an estuary is uh, for, for a river. Right. And there isn't, there's there's, there's tiny no river. Streams. So it's, yeah. It's just, fit, it's like a well, basin, is it? It's just like a basin, yes. Yeah. And we're walking along, I mean, at high tide, we'd be at least up to our necks in it. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Um, you can see these cars, they all have to move their cars because <laughs> uh, the tide does come in right up here. And, and actually, if you look at the properties, um, what do you call them, door blocks or something? Um, Oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> forgot. Uh, Basically, yeah, they, I, I, they block up the yeah, bottom of the... Well, we'll see yeah, them. They, Let's walk they, up this... They, they put boards. Yes, the boards. Um, in, you, in all the doors. Here we are. Look, you can see here. They haven't actually got the boards in, but uh, Martin is uh, beautifully demonstrating, just in case the water <laughs> comes up and uh, floods the inside. So they're no... For, and, and over here, you can see how high the steps are. Look how high these the steps are. But it, uh, here we are. <laughs> Local resident tells us yeah. it comes over them. Well, it does. Yes, it has done. How long ago was the worst? Well, the surge last year. Last year? Yeah, Bluebell, oh, right. yes. The big surge. Oh, really? Oh, it came right over it, yes. Gosh. Does that... I made page three of the local rug. Oh! This <laughs> is hell of bailing up. Page three without taking anything off. That's right. How oh, marvellous. Get, get rid of the water. Oh, Gosh. that's amazing. Thank you very much for right, telling okay, us. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go. So... These, uh, they're no, no stranger to uh, the, the flooding water, but beautiful cottages, beautiful houses. And there you can hear hailing us the church wow. and a car. <laughs> <laughs> and that we're going to make our way to the church as our sort of final bit. We're going to pass the Anchor Blue, is that? Uh, the, uh, the local hostillery. Yes. Which uh, no doubt does local ales as well as um, beautiful food, yeah, coffin, yeah. muffins. But it's a free house, so it's free. Yeah, it's all free. That's good. <laughs> we'll go in there in a minute. Shall we, we? we like, <laughs> if we only, like free. If only. Absolutely. So yes, yeah, the cottages and the buildings here, and the archi architecture is a real mix, and it's it's a very higgledy piggledy sort of place. You get um, what we're passing here. This sort of, well, is that Georgian? It Georgian. A bit Georgian. Georgian frontage, yes. anyway, with. Um, Lots of rubble and stone and behind, behind and all the rest of it. And there's a timber one. This looks like a timber one. A timber there. one behind, and um, with the thatched roof, which is, which is all good. And now Martin is opening the gate, and here we see. Thank you, Martin. You you are a very good gate man. But I'll take my feet later. Yes, here we see the church, which is our sort of our ending point for this very short walk. Beautiful mixture again of different periods. The tower, you think, being the eldest, you were saying to me. Yes, the base of the tower is is now thought to be Saxon. Um, at one time, it was thought the whole of the tower. But oh right, different, you know, different specialists, experts think different, different things. Different things. Yes, yes. It's, it, it, it can be very confusing, can't it? Yes. Um, shall we go inside? As we come in, I mean, the first thing you notice, I'm just going to turn around so we get a view of it. It's very, it's very grand, isn't it, Martin? Yes. I mean, for a, you yeah. know, what we see today as a, 
a relatively small village. Status the wealthiest man well. in the in yes. the Doomsday Book from from the Norman period. So That's right, yeah. there must have been a hell of a lot more. Um, the population must have been bigger. You had a lot of nobility. Potentially much greater, yes. Because it's not far from Fishbourne, of course, the Roman villa. Yeah, not far. Um, and and, and uh, an, an important and strategic place. So let's, uh, let's have a little wander around then. Um, a couple of interesting things to look at. And I know time is, is um, passing us by. But there's this, um, this little grave here. Tell us about mm. that, Martin. Um, yes, well, the, we, talk, we spoke just now about King Canute. Mm. And um, he lost his daughter at about eight years old. And, she um, drowned, didn't she, in the, in the brook, I believe. Um, yes, it says early in the 11th century, it was 10-something. Ten, ten yeah. Um, and when they were doing work on the church uh, in the 1800s, they found, near, near the chancel arch, which is where we are, uh, they found this body of an, eight, an eight-year-old girl. Oh, right, so they found a skeleton there. A skeleton, yes. Sorry, yeah. yes, not, not the body. Not the whole body. No, yeah. Um, and... Um, well, it's, it says here that it, 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 it's, it's been thought, reburied. Yes, they reburied it here, and it's thought that um, you know, it was King, King Canute's daughter, but we have never prove it. No, how, how got, could no, you? You haven't got any DNA. No, <laughs> <laughs> you don't carry it around with you. Ah, so there we go. Let's let's step outside now, and just as we end, say thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Martin, for taking me around. My pleasure. And showing me Bosham. Um, lots to see here, lots, Bosom. Bosom, beg your pardon. <laughs> lots to see, lots to talk about um, and you know time has beaten us yet again so don't forget to subscribe, press the bell notification, give us a thumbs up, write a comment, all the usual nonsense and uh, thank you very much Martin. Okay, thank we'll you. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, your job now is oh, uh, oh. Gateman. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold my hand now. <laughs> Till the next time, bye bye.